URLs blocked by robots.txt file for WordPress built sites. The error shown in Search Console. In this video session, I'm going to show you the steps that you should take to remedy URLs blocked by robots.txt file. This morning, you know, working on valued client site, they end up seeing this URLs blocked by robots.txt file. In Search Console, on the crawl section, we have sitemaps here. Now, these warnings will actually occur whether it is a well-maintained site or not every now and then. So if you're seeing things like that, let's go and find out what we need to do and identify methods to fix this. So what I've done is I've just logged out of my client's Search Console property for privacy reasons and logged into mine. Now, first thing to do when you're seeing that warning message is actually go to robots.txt tester and here, let's imagine you have a sample URL shown to you in Search Console as abc page.html and so on or just forward slash if you're using WordPress. We'll be focusing on WordPress and we'll take things from there, okay? And then you should just test it test different user agents depending on the type of setup of your website but the web search is for googlebot so here let's imagine this scenario let's imagine the sample url was something like this and robots.txt tester may show you the directives within robots.txt file as an example, let me see. So then you can just check this URL pattern on your WordPress site to take a look at what you're seeing there. And then go to the tester in Search Console and start testing, experimenting to see, do I have any directives within robots.txt file that is actually blocking certain URLs? Okay, so that's the first step that we should do. The next part is we can then go fetch as Google. That's another feature that you would like to perhaps explore. In that example, you can safely fetch and render. Let's go and fetch and render that non-existent URL to see what happens. As you can see, fetch and render will also may give you hints as to, you know what, that's blocked then it's telling you to go back to robots.txt tester. So you need to utilize Search Console and the tools available to you to identify, you know, how is those URLs blocked. And let's imagine we've got this sitemap page because it's partially rendered. Here, Fetch as Google feature may also show certain things being blocked. In this example, it's actually an image. So this is actually the most confusing part for most website owners. That means, let's imagine your WordPress site is using a popular SEO plugin like Yoast and you have XML sitemaps functionality enabled. Then if you go to your sitemaps file and then you're looking at the sitemap saying, you know what, all these URLs, you know, I can visit it and Google can see it. So why is Google sitemap feature is complaining and the sitemap saying URLs blocked because you're looking at your sitemap and you're saying, you know what, these URLs are not blocked. Now, particularly if you're using Yoast SEO plugin, what you should be doing is pressing on Control U on your keyboard together at the same time then you see the Yoast XML sitemap functionality actually has URLs for your images as well. So then you need to double check the location for your images because you may not be blocking the normal posts or pages or products, but in your sitemap, you may have URLs pointing to different images perhaps or different videos perhaps 
and they may be blocked using robots.txt directives. Make sense? So this is the another kind of hidden place that most website owners do not check. So don't be thinking those URLs blocked by robots are specific to your normal permalinks because they are not. They are also for your images or any other sitemaps that you may have. Okay, so keep that in mind. Now, what if, you know, you end up doing your test and you end up seeing some directives that's blocking. In this example, this particular directive was blocking that. Uh, blocking Google to access the part that's been blocked. What you can do then is especially if you're using Yoast, you can go to Tools, go to File Editor, and then locate that particular line as shown in the test tab. And just delete that line and save changes to robots.txt file so you can follow that option. If you're not using Yoast, then you need to log into your web hosting and find robots.txt file and then modify it accordingly so that Google crawlers are not blocked because it's very important for Google to access your web pages as well as your images as well because they play an important part for a normal web page. Okay, so when you see URLs blocked by robots.txt file for sitemaps, you know, don't just look at the front end, but look at the source code and say, okay, do I have any images being blocked? And then robots.txt tester is your friend. So you can start experimenting. You can also fetch and render as Google to see, okay, what else is being blocked? Because, you know, fetch and render in that example, let's say this example, if you end up seeing, you know, this image, it's been blocked in fetch as Google feature, well, sometimes you can't really do much about that because that's an external site that you have no control over. In this example, it's coming from Facebook. So if I request that URL, now nah, it's been redirected somehow. Okay, let's go to the main root of that and let's go fetch that particular URL to see what's there. And as you can see, that's Facebook. So then if we say, how about robots.txt file for Facebook? And you can see they are blocking certain things which may be on your website, such as Facebook plugins, share buttons, all that stuff. Okay, so you really can't do much about that because you don't control the robots.txt file for Facebook. Make sense? So when you see that, don't be alarmed thinking, oh, that's blocked. What do I need to do? Well, you can't do anything for that particular example if it's blocked on an external site. Okay? You can only control your own end, as in your own website and what's blocked there in your sitemaps, whether you're using Yoast or not. Always double check the source code to see what are the URLs you may be in there that Google is being blocked. And then triple check robots.txt file to remedy, perhaps even remove certain lines and directives. Because at the end of the day, remember, you want Google to access your website if you want Google to rank your web pages. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And if you've got any questions and comments, use the commenting um, section of this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.